Welcome back to my hiatus from the Dragonfly. Um, today we're going to be covering the Scenario Editor. So, uh, the Scenario Editor is activated by this little Scenario Editor checkbox. So make sure that that's checked. And I'm going to be editing Delta Glider 4, Earth Scenery, uh, Landed ACS, Departure to ISS. Um bring up the menu to stop the flashing of doom, I, um, I don't know why I said I. So the scenario editor is under custom, scenario editor there, and here you can see everything that's currently in the scenario. So let's create something new, let's call it the Carolina, and let's scroll down to UCGO, vessels, aerofreighter. And it is created on the night side of the planet because Orbiter hates me and wants to make my life difficult. So, um, here it is. We've just created it. And it gets created. Oh, here. Hang on. First, if you think um, that it's switched over to the Carolina because the screen is focused on it, hit F1, you notice that we're back in the Delta Glider. So you actually have to select the newly created object. Um... Anyway, new objects are created in an orbit of about 600 kilometers, um, totally ecliptical to the Earth. So that means it's really easy to get other places from a newly created object. So if I wanted to, say, create a scenario about the um, putting an aerofreighter to the moon and starting a moon base there, all I'd have to do is create the aerofreighter itself and then load it up with these cargo things, which I might do a video about later, like setting up that scenario. Um, so yeah, there we go. It also gets created with the gears down, but that's a simple, simple solution. You just raise the gears. Hey look, there's Hawaii. Isn't that cool? Is it just me or these islands higher definition than those islands? That's odd. What do they have against Kauai, huh? Huh? Anyway. Um, so, that's basically the scenario editor. Save, you hit the save button, and name your scenario. I'm going to name it Stanislaw. For reasons that will become clear. So, let's say you want to create a base. Um, let's go back to our Delta Glider. Ooh, that's a cool view imposing. It's like a Delta Glider commercial. Anyway, hopefully that didn't pause the scenario. F8 is how you switch between this and this, and I found out recently that F8 was also the shortcut key to pause the recording, which gave me a lot of grief in many of my videos in trying to record them. Um, so, bases are these little things here. Um, these little squares, if you zoom in far enough, you can see their names. Here's Habana, Kennedy Space Center, Cape Canaveral, and Wallops Island. Um, they're everywhere on Earth. Um, less places on the moon. Just the two. Uh, I want to go back to Earth, though. I don't know if there's an Olympus base, actually, on Mars. Oh, there's two bases. Isn't that interesting? Anyway, um... So they're everywhere, but we want to create our own base. And uh, so we need to find out where uh, where to put it. So let's exit out. Good, we are still recording. Brilliant. So let's exit out, go to Google Earth. And since we saw Hawaii... Oh, no. Borders and labels. Good. Since we saw Hawaii, let us put a base, say, on... Uh, which one's Mauna Kea and which one's Mauna Loa? Of course, I took off the borders and labels. That's Mauna Kea. So that has the observatory on it right there. Um, so let's put our base here on this little lumpy thing. Crater. Sure. Sounds good. Yeah, I think that's actually a summit. The summit of Mauna Kea. Anyway, so just mark down the um, latitude and longitude of wherever you want to put it. Um, it You do have to do it in decimal notation, so I bet you I can find a way to 
switch that so I don't have to do any math. Decimal degrees. There we go. So mark down the latitude and longitude. In fact, I want you to mark down the longitude and latitude in that order. So this is negative 155.471 and 19.821. Um, and then go to your orbiter installation folder under config earth base and just select um, something like Svobodny. Um, copy that, create a new text document, and I'm going to call it Stanislaw. And I'm going to change it to CFG. Yes, I do want to change it. I know it will break all the things. So the name of the base is Stanislaw, and the location is negative 155.471 and 19.821. Let's save that. Go back to Orbiter and to Stanislaw. Um, the name similarities between Stanislaw the base and Stanislaw the uh, scenario is just um, because... Oh, menu up. Is just for um, this video's sake. Um, these bases will appear anywhere, but here we see Hawaii has a new square, and uh, let us move there. So you go to custom, um, GLO1, let's edit that, and location, Earth surface base, let's put it on Stanislaw, Stanislaw pad 1, and we put it in the middle of the ocean somehow, because the... Um, Apparently, the coordinate system between uh, Orbiter and Google Earth are slightly off. I'm um, just by a few kilometers. Um, but I'm not going to move it. Ocean bases are fine. Um, I wonder if we can see the uh, Carolina from here. Probably not. It's too far away. Anyway. So, we have a base there, but we don't have anything to mark the base there. So let's create something. And I'll call it Stan Stanislaw Prelude. And it's going to be a Prelude 2. Let's create it. And like everything else, it is created in orbit. Wow, I almost went all the way around to the night side again. So here it is in orbit, which it looks very odd in orbit. So let's put it um, at the base. Stennis Law, and then we can, let's face it, I don't know, east, which is 90. Yeah. And then we can move it because our delta glider, because we also set it to landing pad 1, our delta glider marks where the um, base, like the config files base is, or the landing pad is there. And so now if we just move the landing pad of this over the delta glider, then we have a base. And there we go. Um, you can add stuff to your base as well. I'm just going to save this as Stanislaw and do it floating prelude base near Hawaii. Save. Close. Exit. Um, you can add stuff to your base, so let's go to, say, canaveral.config and copy all of this. That sounds fun. Not Canaveral, that's going to be difficult. Habana. Let's copy all this and move it to Stanislaw. Uh, we have to then redo our coordinates. Um, negative, I'm going to do a different sys coordinate area actually, 109.34 and negative 27.1, and I will call it Stanislaw, and Rapa Nui. I think that's it. 
So let's save it there. Let's go back to Stanislaw. Now our uh, Delta Glider, I think, will just be out in the middle of the ocean somewhere. Yeah. So now there's no base there. Uh, of course, I'm still in Carolina. So you may have noticed there's no base here, but there's a base here now, um, which is where we moved it. So let us move the Delta Glider back to Stanislaw. Pad 1. There we go. We have moved the Habana spaceport to Easter Island. That's right. Well, we haven't moved it. We've copied it over. So this is a spitting image of the Habana spaceport in Easter Island. And we have a nice little runway and uh, some landing pads. So yeah. Um, this was all done through the, that object list. Um, these are just blocks and trains and blocks and blocks and more blocks. So, um, yeah, if you want to figure out what each of those blocks actually does, I can probably delete the prelude base now. We don't need it. Um, if you want to figure out what each of those blocks does, um, Stanislaw, a carbon copy of Habana on Easter Island. Safe. Anyway, back to what I was trying to say. If you want to figure out what each of these blocks does and build your own custom base, you can certainly do that. I'm not going to stop you. But I'm just too lazy to figure all that out. I'm sure it'd be incredibly useful. So, but yeah, that is the um, scenario editor. And this is the end of the video, I think. I will see you next time finally getting back into the dragonfly. So see you then.